Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and studies are going in full swing. This is an important update video for the files that we have shared for the May 24 attempt specifically. So basically on our telegram channel, the link for which is in the description box, we have shared four important files. First is a set of super 99 questions for FR. Now this is across all topics and we have tried to collate and pick up the most important questions. Remember your FR is a humongous course. If you see the full course that course close to covers 800, 900 questions out of which we have already shared an important file which covers close to around 350, 400 odd questions. But again, it becomes a little challenging. We want to kind of focus our attention on the most important ones. So I'm sharing with you the top 99 questions that are there from uh, the overall material. These questions also include audio notes. So I have kept QR codes next to each of these questions or most of these questions where I've tried to record the important adjustments. You can scan that and listen to these audio notes in case you are stuck at a particular area. We have tried to kind of not really go into the comprehensive entire question solving, but kind of explain you the broad question and just also kind of give you an understanding on where students are typically stuck up and what can be possible doubts based on our experience. So that should probably be helpful to you if you are stuck at a particular place this is for fr again if you have already studied all the important questions or all the imp all the questions in total that is the best this is just a filtration it is not over and above anything this is something where you kind of focus on for a better understanding next a similar file a super 90 questions for your afm again in your afm you have more than 500 odd questions uh, we have shared around 150 uh, odd 150 180 odd questions which are important out of them shortlisting and this is further narrowing down and kind of going to the most important ones which you should definitely revise so if on the exam day i would definitely recommend that you read cover as much as possible at least all the important questions but if you are at a stage where you are kind of just about uh running out of time and you don't have enough time to complete that particular chapter then at least do these questions which we have kind of pulled out from that chapter so at least you have that thing that okay these questions i've done i've kind of touched on the chapter and if you have given your ca inter as well or your ca final earlier you know how important it is to get your coverage on the very last day so it's a very handy resource you can keep that uh keep it with you again you have audio notes over there so these are the two uh, important files for the important questions which is further narrowing down on the important file which we had shared earlier this is a question and solution file with the audio notes so i hope this will be helpful for you second we have shared an afm theory compiler so this compiler includes so if i just kind of take you through the telegram channel so that you kind of uh know just a second okay so over here on uh, this channel the link for which you will be uh, uh, will be shared so you will have the super 90 questions for AFM and then super 99 questions for FR. So as we uh, were discussing over here, for example, you will have these questions with the QR code. You can scan it and uh, play it through any regular uh, audio recorder. And the similar is the case for AFM. When we look at the theory compiler, there are two files. The first file is an overall compiler, which has tried to cover where we have tried to cover everything uh, in terms of what is covered in the past RTPs, MTPs, as well as the exam questions. There are a lot of questions on what will come in the AFM theory. The general understanding that we have would be there would still be around a 20 marks approximate weightage, but that will be displayed distributed between the theory and the practical section so for example you will have uh, within the descriptive paper you will have around 12 odd marks of questions maybe four four marks or three three marks worth of questions and then within an mcq you will have a couple of cases or a couple of questions pertaining to securitization or startup finance etc so your overall weightage would continue to remain around 20 odd marks here we have tried to compile all these important questions at least on the descriptive side mcq side or the case base you would have only the mtp and the rtp to refer and i strongly recommend that you should refer that so i've kind of focused this descript this descriptive part over here so all the descriptive questions at one place that should possibly help you this is close to 120 pages now a lot of students might have prepared from the earlier compiler that we have shared let us say from the november 23 
uh, for the November 23 exams, which is already there on the Telegram channel. So for them, there would be a separate file called as an addendum file. So you can refer the addendum file if you're doing for it for the first time. Probably you can just take the entire file. If you have already done, then in the addendum file, there are two parts. In the first part, we have just added the new questions which have come in the RTPs, MTPs or the exam questions from November 23 onwards. So, the November 23 exam, RTP and MTP of May 2024. Uh, at least till the MTP 1 series, we have kind of tried to cover over here. And then in the second part, there is the new theory added in the study material. So, this is around a 40-45 page file which we have earlier shared as well. Uh, most important within this, I would say, is the business valuation chapter where and the derivatives part where they've tried to include a bit more theory in the business valuation like there are valuation of distressed assets valuation of uh, let us say uh, your going concern uh, you have uh, esg compliance etc so ensure that you refer that theory if possible uh, I'll try to record a video. Please do write in the comments box if you need a video for the same. I do believe that the theory is self-explanatory. But if I, if you want and if you kind of mention in the comment box and I see that there are, uh, I mean, you you want a video for the same, then I'll try to record that separately. But otherwise, this new study material theory, here we have not tried to kind of, uh, we have tried to give you whatever is the new theory added. Obviously, if you have all the time in the world, which I'm sure you don't, then you can refer the institute study material for an exhaustive preparation. But having said that, with the narrowest possible time, if you kind of, if we are having a relatively good hit rate covering maybe selected topics and assuming that out of the five theory questions, at least three probably based on at least the past trends should at least repeat. So having a brief understanding over here kind of helps. Uh, if possible, I'll try to record the theory lecture, but if it kind of helps you separately for these new topics, then I will try to do that. You can write in the comments box if you need the same. And while you are preparing and reading for this theory, don't read the way you study for law or study for audit uh, or the theory papers where you try to remember every point. No, you just read it as if you are reading a newspaper. You should be broadly aware of the concepts in the sense that if you see a Dow Jones theory or a random work theory, you don't need to reproduce the exact language like probably you are expected in audit or something else. You just need to have the broader sense. And I mean, if you know the broader sense, you have that skill set with you to elaborate and make it a three or a four mark answer. So you should know the essence of the topic and you can write. So just ensure that you read it. It might appear to be very daunting and challenging. You can refer old videos which we have shared for the old theory compiler so if you have limited time to kind of read then you probably watch it on 1.5 or 2x which i think you would and try to kind of grasp as much as possible from the theory that is there from the earlier videos again if possible i'll share the link for those videos uh, the two earlier videos as well in the description so that is how you will kind of go through the theory i hope these files are helpful for you and they kind of help you getting those important marks in your exam and keep studying keep uh, preparing hard it is the last few days and keep your momentum going it is a point where you would feel a little uh, kind of overburdened considering what is there remember this is happening to everyone it is not just happening to you so ensure that you kind of take that pressure soak that pressure and keep on going and studying further worrying about it is not going to solve it probably studying about it will solve it so ensure that you study well and i'll stay in touch with you guys till then do subscribe to this telegram channel as well for important updates and the youtube channel as well so hopefully uh, these documents help you i'll see you soon bye bye take care